If you come to a Morehead State basketball game in Johnson Arena this season, you could probably find this woman cheering on the Eagles and her grandson Drew. You might think she's just another fan, but she's part of a deep family connection to Morehead State and the OVC. Her late husband, Lake Kelly, was an assistant during Kentucky's run to the Final Four in 1984 and led Ohio Valley Conference member Austin P to three NCAA tournament appearances. After meeting Lake for the first time, it did not take her long to decide he was the one for her. He was my cousin's roommate at Georgia Tech, and my cousin wrote to me and asked me if I would meet him, and I said no, because <laughs> I didn't think blind dates would be very much fun. So uh, I did meet him there, and three months later we were married. Despite his success at Austin P and other schools, Lake Kelly got one of his first jobs in college coaching at Moorhead State. Well, my father-in-law was a senator, Ed Kelly, and he and Dr. Dorn had a really good relationship. Dr. Dorn was president at that time, and he knew that Lake was going to be a coach, and he called him. He was already up in Ohio coaching, we were, and uh, Dr. Dorn called and wanted to know if he'd like to come to Moorhead as an assistant, so we jumped at that. Yes, we did. Marty's connection to Moorhead State had only begun, however. Her son Brian played basketball for the Eagles, and Lake Jr. currently works for the school. Her daughter Jane, after graduating from MSU, started working at Moorhead and began a relationship with one of its football coaches. At the time, of course, the rec center was across the street from the football stadium, and then that's where we worked out, and, and uh, I miss those days, by the way. That was just a little walk across the street to, to get on elliptical and get a little workout in. And, and uh, so I came in first, con first contact with, with Jane at that time, and. Uh, we just developed a relationship over the years. Rob came over to the house the day he was going to ask Jane to marry him to get permission from Lake Kelly. He had the ring and he showed us the ring and everything and then he went over to the school where my husband was the principal and asked if it would be okay if he asked his daughter for his hand in marriage. We thought that was so romantic and <laughs> so wonderful. At that time, of course, you know, she swore up and down she'd never marry a coach and, and uh, <laughs> with her father having that background and brothers and and uh, here we are, uh, I guess, seven years, seven and a half years later. Rob is, is a wonderful son-in-law. I, I adore him, and I give him advice, too, every once in a while. Marty's grandson, Drew, did not start college basketball as an Eagle, but his family is one of the reasons he transferred to Moorhead State. His grandfather wanted him to come to Moorhead in the first place, <laughs> but that didn't work out. Miami was very academic, and he thought he could handle that. My grandfather had passed spring of my senior year, and, and that, that kind of shook my foundations a little bit and made me really question, you know, the more, the more important things in life. Uh, you know, and, and when I first got to Miami, I realized, I was like, hey, you know, I need to be closer to my family. Uh, you know, I need to be closer to my family for me and for them. Because we knew his father was, his uncle was, his aunt was very happy here, so we knew Drew, Drew would be also. Lake Kelly may have passed away, but his family can attest to the legacy he left on the basketball community. He did more with less than a lot of coaches that could get blue chip players all the time. He ended up winning an awful lot of games, going to the NCAA from Austin P three times, I think, and he had a wonderful career. You know, I think it's I think it's great that we've had three generations of, of Kellys playing or or coaching in the OVC. My father played here uh, in the '80s, and you know, granddad coached here. It was an assistant at one point, and he even he coached at Austin P, and they went to the Sweet 16. I have had so many people, no matter where I go, uh, and the words Austin P comes up. And my husband was a coach for 45 years or so. Fly Williams' name is mentioned. People want to know what he was really like. At AAU games in high school, you know, I'd be getting ready to play and. Roy Williams would come down the stands and be like, hey, Mr. Kelly, how's your grandfather doing? I'm like, oh, he's doing good. He's actually sitting up there watching right now. Oh, I'm going to go talk to him. You know, Bob Huggins, coaches at West Virginia, you know, they all, he impacted them in some way, and it's, it's just an honor and a blessing to, to be his grandson. Morehead State recently named Rob Tenure as its new head football coach and Marty and Drew believe he will make a positive impact. This is wonderful, and my husband, Lake, knew he would be a good head coach. They talked more football than they did basketball. I'm, I'm thrilled that Uncle Rob got the head coaching job. You know, I was supporting him when he was interviewing for it, and uh, I really do believe that he's the right man for the job, and I think he's going to do great things. My son, Lake Jr., said if he doesn't win here, it won't be because he has not crossed every T and dotted every I, because he is very much a detailed person. And I think that's a wonderful attribute that he has. 
Moorhead is only a half hour away from Marty's home, and she is still a presence for her family. After more than 40 years as a coach's wife, she has plenty of stories to tell. Jane went to her first ball game when she was five days old. Five days old. <laughs> and I believe during Lake's career they moved 26 times. Um, and if I had to guess, uh, she probably did most of those moves herself. Well, it was a lot of work, but I looked at it as a great adventure. You know, my husband was a basketball coach. We wanted to move up in the coaching world. I love to bake cookies, pies, cakes, things like that. That's my specialty. And I've had some of the guys here at Moorhead, and they're always talking to Drew, saying, when is your grandmother going to bring some more cookies? Uh, she's always baking cookies for the team, you know, coming to every home game, stopping by practices, just checking to see how people are doing. Uh, she's just the most loving and, and caring woman that, you know, one of the best women that can be placed in your life, and I'm just extremely thankful for her. I know my children think they got their competitiveness, and they are very competitive from their father, but they did not. They got it from me. I can beat anyone at Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> and uh, Lake was the good sportsman type influence. I am the foot stomping, teeth gnashing, clawing person and that's competitiveness.